celery root because you got to get past the gnarliness. Yeah, boy. <laughs> How do you pick one? How do you know what one to pick to start with? They can't be soft. They have to be firm. If they're soft at all, then well, that sure looks firm. It smells like celery. It does. It really does. Okay. It's a cousin of the celery. It's not really celery. It's not the root of the celery plant that the green things grow out of. It's a totally different vegetable. And that looks really good. But this is going to make a nice salad. And it's for six people, so we probably won't use this whole thing because we're going to have fennel. Oh, that's a good idea. So you were using about half of this for the salad for six people. Yes, and tomorrow you're going to have the other half in your mashed potatoes because I got potatoes from Wood Prairie Farms that have to be used. Look at that thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, what are you doing there? This is the fennel. Oh, that's fennel. The fennel bulb. Tastes kind of like licorice, like anise. And we're just going to prepare it to go into the salad. These you don't want. They're too, rough, too tough and fibrous. Okay, so it's just that nice little ball-shaped thing there. Just a little ball. Cut it in half. Take out this core right there. Yep. Take out the core, like just cut a diamond shape. Takes the core out. Nice. Right? Yep. You can take out the outside leaf even because it gets handled. And then I'm going to cut it again because it will make it easier to slice in thin, thin, thin. thin. This is going right into the salad and this really is going to be raw. So you want it to be thin. So that's going to taste really fresh and fresh and anisey and liquishy. Nice. And so now you're making a salad for six people. So you're using half a ball or the whole. I'm going to use the ha use a half. I'm going to use a half. And make sure all the little pieces come apart because nobody wants to get too big a piece. It's okay. just a nice. Here we go. Like an accent. The bowl there. So that's everything in the bowl with the celery root. Because there's apple going in there too. Apple going here too. It looks really good. Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Okay. Okay, I'm using three different kinds of apples. So I might only use half of each. Okay, this what is kind a honey is that? crisp. Well, those are hard to get. Those are hard to Well, they're not. This time of year, they're starting to be bye bye. So we're going to use a. We're going to use a honey crisp and a gala and a half of a green apple just because I want some different textures going on in there, different sweetnesses. And you keep the skin on? I'm going to because it's a salad and it's raw and there's a lot of good stuff in the skin and the skin adds some beautiful color. Yeah, it does. When you start to cut the apple, it's not too soon after that. You gotta get the dressing on. Right, because it turns that funny color. That's right. And we're gonna do the dressing real quick in here in a minute. I'm sort of like Jacques Pepin, and you're sort of like Julia Child. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? So that was the honey crisp. That was the honey crisp. The gala. Gala. Dum, 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 Little dum, different dum. texture inside. A little different sweetness. I just cut them a little bit so that I get some. I wish she could. Everybody could be here because boy, it smells good. You can really get that fresh smell of everything in there. Already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what, this is a different this apple is again. A, this is a Granny Smith. So that's tart. Tart. Crisp. Green. Green. So it's another color and another... Another color, another dimension of flavor. Another dimension of flavor. This is kind of thick, so I'm trying to get... There. And then I'll just... Kind of julienne. It's a little big for julienne, but... It's a nice salad. This is going to be have a lot of flavor. It's a winter salad, you know? You don't see that? Everything's kind of like... Piling up. Potato chippy and, uh, <laughs> and then like you got the celery root and the fennel. It's going to be nice. It looks really okay. great. So, um, Rob, now you're going to make the salad dressing salad that goes, dressing. right? That goes on the apple and celery root salad. 
And it's a clove of garlic. Clove of I garlic. I do it all right in the blender. It doesn't have to be difficult. A little bit of pepper, fresh brown. It's always the best. Right in there. Right in. Because it's just getting a little bit of mustard and a little bit of goat cheese, so it will be like an emulsifier, so you don't have to worry about the order of ingredients. Okay, I just want to tell everybody the garlic's peeled already, right? Garlic was peeled already. Right. Lemon juice. Half of a lemon. Lots of lemon. Hopefully no pits. Well, pits on the floor. <laughs> it just gives it a little citrus to brighten it up. A teaspoon of what kind of mustard? Was that? mustard? Can you just hold that jar up? Just the regular grape juice. Oh, that was a little fast. About two <laughs> tablespoons of goat cheese. Ooh, what kind of goat cheese did you use? French there? goat cheese. It has to be French. Well, it doesn't have to be, but if they make a nice one, and a little bit. Oh, so this is you're... champagne and pear vinegar. Wow. From oh, wait, let me get Taste a of oil, up in. Westchester, Pennsylvania. No kidding. She local imports and them fresh. from all over. Local and fresh. That's local how we cook fresh. around That's here. That's how we cook. That's about, I would say, four, ta four tablespoons. It's all in there, one shot. And then we're going to use hazelnut oil. About a quarter of a cup of hazelnut oil. Ooh, what's so good about that? Um, it smells like hazelnuts. Let me see the label. It's a regular hazelnut oil that you can get everywhere. Cool. Even in the grocery stores have it now. Okay. And just to add a little extra something, about two tablespoons of regular extra virgin olive oil. E-V-O-O. -O. Organic. <laughs> E-V-O-O -O is somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. I mean, it's really, really simple. So now you just blend it. Now I'm going to whirl it. We're just going to put a little dressing, just a little, on this salad, just to keep it from turning color before our guests get here. Okay. We want it, and we also want it to marinate a little bit in the dressing because it will absorb the flavor. And this is going to go on top of mixed greens with oh. some toasted hazelnuts. Aha. And that will be it. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so normally I dress all of this first, but because this is already dressed, I'm going to put this on, present this on the top of the green so everybody can take a little bit of each. Looks really good. And then I'll put the rest of the dressing on the side so they can dress their greens if they need it. Okay. Yeah, looks good. That off as some roasted. Well, let me get the, roasted those are those nuts off that were on the stove. Yes, I roasted them so yeah. they get just a little bit of color on them. You don't got to be careful because these burn, they have a lot of oil in them. Yeah, we have hazelnut oil in the dressing, oh, so it picks it so up. We're just gonna, it doesn't have to be a bunch. I'm gonna put some on my side with a lot. <laughs> That's about a <laughs> actually, it's about a half a cup for the whole. It looks really good. There. Nice, nice, nice. And then we're just going to serve the rest of the dressing right on the side. That's beautiful. And the name of this again is? Celery root with apples and fennel and hazelnut dressing. Beautiful.